I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing a freezer light switch in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace this light switch if the lights do not come on in the freezer drawer when it's open. This repair should only take about 5 to 10 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you don't already have a new light switch, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. We'll start by opening the freezer drawer, extend it all the way, and we're going to remove the nuts on the inside of the door. Once we remove these nuts, we'll be able to remove the door. Lift up on the door and pull back to remove and set to the side. You can start by pushing in the baskets slightly. We'll need to remove one of the basket stops on either side in order to get the baskets out. Put your knife below. Take your flathead screwdriver. Push in on the square. And then pry until that basket comes out. Now we can pull out the basket. We'll start with the top. One end will come out. And the other. Set it to the side. In order to remove the lower basket, you'll need to push slightly towards the back and lift up until it pops out of the rails. And then you're just going to have to wiggle it out. You may have to squeeze in on the edges of the basket in order to remove it. And set it to the side. Now we have access to the lower light switch. I took off my gloves so I could get a better grip on it. We can take our flathead screwdriver, start gently prying out the switch. On both sides until you can get a good grip on it. Once you can wiggle it out, pull out the wiring. There's two prongs on this switch. So we'll detach those wires. If you need help, you can use the flathead screwdriver to help pry those off. Now we can discard our old switch. Now that we have our new switch, we can hook up the wiring. Once those are on there snugly, you can tuck the wiring back in and put the new switch in. It should pop into place, sit flush against the wall. And now we can reassemble. Extend the guardrails out of the way. We'll take our lower basket. Place the basket. Again, you may have to squeeze in the top edges of the basket in order to make it fit. Make sure that the basket tabs are all in the proper holes. You may have to push the basket towards the back in order to get all those holes properly sitting on the rails. Once the basket sits flush to the rails, we can put in the top basket. Put in the side with the basket stop in first. There we go. 
And once that top basket is in, we can replace the basket stop. That'll just push right back into place. Extend the drawer all the way so we can put the front door back on. There are two triangular studs that'll need to sit in these spots on the rails. So we'll line those up. Once those are both sitting on the rails, we can replace the quarter inch screws. And that's it. Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out and let us know what you think on these social media sites.